All right, so welcome to another Linux kernel module programming tutorial. All right, so in this tutorial, I promise that we're going to get into we're actually writing a module. First thing we want to do is um, open up a terminal. Go ahead and make a directory that we're going to be storing everything inside of. I'm going to call mine module. There's nothing inside the file. All right, so at this point in the game, we're going to open, make a file and call that file hello okay so at this stage what we want to do is uh, create a file called hello and we're going to call it hello.c you want to do include include linux int this is for initialization of the module and this is for uh, being able to recognize that this is a module so at this point, we want to be able to initialize the module and at the same time, when we're done with the module, be able to clean up any resources that we've used while the module has been uh, running. And we simply do that by making uh, two functions. It needs to be static because there can only be one instance of these methods. And uh, one thing to mention is that Linux kernel programming is done entirely in C with some small bits and pieces done inside of um, assembly. Um, so that's why I have this uh, weird syntax present here. Just give it a void. Um, per the signature of initialization, it needs to be an integer type and hello. Uh, for the macros to be able to uh, accept this definition without complaining. And next is something new. And when you're doing Linux kernel programming, you're not you cannot use user space uh, C library calls like printf, scanf, and any of those uh, types of inputs and output mechanisms. You cannot use any C library functions, period. Uh, so to be able to display information uh, to the console, we have to use print k instead. And it's not really printing to the console. It's going to be printing to a file, uh, a log file that's kept. And we can later use something like dmessage to display those log information to the console. Um, so this is going to be the entry point for our application. And so what we want to do now is say that when this module gets loaded into kernel, we're going to display a simple message. And we're going to say alerts. And then say hello world. And this basically just displays a message. Um, this kernel alert is used for priority prioritizing log information. Um, there are different versions of um, static. When we're done with the module, we need to deallocate resources that we've used by saying static void. And again, it needs to be uh, void or static because there can only be one instance of entry into the kernel, into the kernel module and one instance of exit. And here we're going to display another message saying Current alerts, and that's it. At this stage in the game, um, this won't really do anything um, to be able to, because uh, whenever this gets loaded, it won't be able to start executing. You have to tell the current the Linux kernel where to start executing your Linux module, and we simply do that by saying module int, and we pass it the pointer the address of this um, function by just using its name so this tells it whenever you start this module jump execution straight over here and then next we're going to say module exit and i'm sure you can figure out what this one does whenever execution um, is done or whenever the module is removed from the code 
jumps its execution straight here and deallocates any resources that have been used so we keep the system clean and fresh. Now we have to actually build this source code into a module. Okay, so next what we want to do is make a make file to build our Linux kernel module. <laughs> we do it by saying gedit make file. This is what the make file is going to look like. Um, that's the file that you want to create. So this is what the make file looks like. First line is going to be uh, basically the name of the Linux module source code. Instead of C, you can put O. And then this is going to be the directory for your Linux headers. The source file, the uh, Linux kernel that's currently running, you want to compile it against the headers available for that Linux kernel. So mine is going to be USR dash uname 3.2.4, uh, 3.2.0 24 generic PAE. And if you don't know which one you're running, you can simply say uname.r. And this will give you, uh, it will give you a hint as to which header file that you need, and then you can do ls usr that source, and then you can simply find which one that you're looking for, and mine is here, and that's what I, uh, had, that's how I arrived to this location. Okay, next to build it, you're gonna say make dash c, and the current the kernel directories, the subdirectories, and modules. And this one, this command here is for cleaning, as to remove all the executables that are generated after typing make. So you want to save that and exit. At this stage, all you have to do is type make, and that will start building the Linux module. Okay, now simply all you have to do is say insert mod hello.ko that inserts the Linux module into the Linux kernel and then the message, the message will display the message because remember print k does not uh, write to the console. Likewise, remove mod will remove the module that we just compiled and then D message again to display the messages so as you can see hello and goodbye uh, this was my from a previous run of inserting and removing that I ran prior to recording that's gonna do it for this tutorial please as always rate and subscribe and leave a comment below